So we support each other in joy. We support each other in sadness. We support each other in development. And this is what I would like to see happen on an Africa scale. They say this is the decade of the African woman, and I believe that this is so. Her Excellency Toyin Saraki, philanthropist, businesswoman, mother, and a woman with a big vision and passion for Africa. She set up the Wellbeing Foundation Africa with the aim of building sustainable change for African families and to help reverse the cycle of poverty on the continent. The Wellbeing Foundation has been able to transform the lives of countless women across Nigeria. This is just the beginning. When Toyin set targets of how many women she wanted to reach in her home country, Nigeria, there were 5.3 million births every year, a figure which increases annually. About 53,000 women die, either due to complications with the pregnancy or delivery. 41% of Nigerian children face moderate to severe stunting, and 756,000 under fives die each year. The plight of mothers across Nigeria and Africa is a passion very close to Toyin's heart. When I was getting married in 1991, I was pregnant and I was expecting twins. But a um, few days before my wedding, everything went awry. And basically, um, I began to hemorrhage. And on the eve of my wedding, I found myself in hospital in this situation, which was beyond my contemplation. I never even knew things like that happened to people. Anyway, I ended up delivering that night, and it was a very harrowing experience. I had uh, my daughter, naturally, and then my daughter's twin got stuck. And um, there was this life-changing delay, which meant that the next baby came out stillbirth. And I had a lot of postpartum bleeding. And to cut a long story short, in 24 hours, I got married, had a child, and lost a child. What I experienced was an unavoidable reality for the majority of the women in my country. The inadequacies of the Nigerian health system, the lack of reliable information, the absence of an effective referral system. I've seen babies die because their blood types were not compatible with that of their mother. I've seen children die because the parents can't pay the registration fee to access the free care in the hospitals. I've seen lives lost because even in the same facility, they don't want to marry the health of the newborn to that of the mother. And yet, because of my experience, I've also seen the way systems that are supposed to work properly do work properly. I've seen the synergy of mother, child, system, doctor, research facility, records. And I just wanted to know how to bring this synergy to my own country. This traumatic experience was the inspiration for the Wellbeing Foundation's flagship initiative. Basically, um, we discovered that in Nigeria, it's been very, very difficult for us to ensure and continuum of care. I looked at a few countries all over the world that have very, very good survival rates, and I realized that they all have one thing in common. They're all using home-based, which is patient custody, health records. In 2011, the Wellbeing Foundation partnered with UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon on his Every Woman, Every Child program. Through this, they have been able to exponentially scale up to fulfill two of the Millennium Development Goals by 2015. With the knowledge gained from Every Woman, Every Child partnerships, the Wellbeing Foundation has incorporated key life-saving drugs into their mama kits. This is to prevent prolonged labor and tackle postpartum bleeding while empowering mothers and midwives in one simple step. They've also been able to help mothers with family planning and child spacing through injectable contraceptives delivered by community health workers. 
This means women can make informed choices about when to bear children and improve their lives and socioeconomic status. Another issue which affects the African woman disproportionately more than women in other parts of the world is domestic violence. It's an issue the Wellbeing Foundation take very seriously. At the Wellbeing Foundation Africa, we're encouraging victims to speak out, while encouraging national governments to ensure legislation that protects victims, as well as bring justice to offenders. The statistics on violence against women in Africa still remain shockingly high. In Nigeria, for example, according to the Global Press Institute, over 50% of women are routinely abused by their husbands. More than two-thirds of Nigerian women are believed to experience physical, sexual and psychological abuse in their villages. However, only 45 countries worldwide, excluding Nigeria, have legislation protecting women against domestic violence. But many of these laws are not regularly enforced, especially during times of conflict. At the Wellbeing Foundation, we are asking you to say no to violence against women. There is no reason why women in Nigeria and across Africa should be dying at the hand of such avoidable circumstances. And Toyin is 100% committed to putting a firm end to this. This will be a movement that will empower every single woman, every single girl, and by extension, because we're family people, our families, our communities, and our nations. Thank you so much.